So up everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. So we're going to focus in on Adam Masker into the Kitchener Rangers, 2016 draft eligible winger, who had a phenomenal second year in the OHL. Um, you know, as Kitchener really became a, a pretty good team over the course of the season. It was one of the better teams in the OHL. Um, you know, he had 81 points in 65 games, 35 goals. Was, I've been all morning watching tape of his shots. He uh, he can rifle the puck. It's uh, definitely a shot that you say to yourself, "Oh my God, this is as good. this is a legitimate NHL, you know, wrist shot, snapshot, what have you." And uh, you know, again, I think that's going to translate to the next level. And I think the one thing I told him back is he's five foot nine. I think teams are going to look at that and be like, "Oh." Well, you know, he's five foot nine, he's not the fastest skater, but he gets that shot off consistently, goes to the high traffic areas, does what it takes, and from all accounts, everything I've read and everything I've watched, he's a worker. He's a workout fiend. You know, this is the kind of kid that's gonna be, you know, spending all summer shooting pucks in his driveway, you know, just doing the damn thing. I mean, you know, everyone works hard, but th there's certain players that take it to the next level and you know I think that he's going to be one he's one of those kids that will not be outworked you know on or off the ice and you know that's going to get you want in your organization you know he's a 42nd ranked skater according to central scouting uh you know I think again you, you draft this kid in the second round you let him do two more years in Kitchener you, you know you let him have I think he's going to have 50 goals next season and then you know go, go from there um you know he's one of the better pure goal scorers in this draft and, you know, again, maybe he's got to refine his game, iron out the kinks, expand his repertoire, whatever you want to say. But bottom line is the kid can put the puck in the net. And I can see him developing into a top six forward at the NHL level. You know, he, his shot reminds me a little bit of uh, just in terms of a young player. Frank Vitrano, the Boston Bruins, you know, just his, his shot's that good. Um, and that they're both smaller guys that can, you know, get it off in, in tight spaces and, you know, really take advantage of their you know, hockey IQ and, you know, where to go on the ice to to, to get those looks. So, you know, again, I, I like the kid's game. I, I think he will be a top six forward at the next level. I think he will be one of these sleeper picks to keep an eye on. And if your team is selecting in the second round and he is on the board, uh, it would behoove them to, uh, to take a gamble on the kid because I think his game is uh, that good, especially offensively, which... Uh, in a sport that requires you to score more goals than the other team, having a guy that's good at scoring goals is usually, you know, a pretty good, pretty good, pretty good thing. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.